Have you forgiven George Zimmerman? Definitely not. If, if forgiveness is the key to, is the key to healing, I, I just I think I'll always be broken. Tonight, a conversation with Trayvon Martin's father almost 10 years since the day Trayvon was shot and killed in Sanford. Over the last 10 years, Tracy Martin turned his grief over the loss of his son into activism. CBS 4 Jim Berry sat down with him to talk about Trayvon and his legacy. This is a part of his legacy right here. We met Tracy Martin at the park in Miramar where his son Trayvon played football. Martin himself spends hours there coaching kids. You know, I always say that, yeah, I may have lost a kid, but being out here, I've gained 300 kids. But none of those kids are Trayvon, the son whom Martin says stuck to him like glue. Here at this park, the memories of the son he lost flowed freely. Every time I think about Trayvon, it's a, you know, I got fond memories of him. Trayvon was that kid that, you know, we know that we, he was like a flower. You know, we nurtured him. We planted him in the right soil. What do you miss most about him? I just miss being around him, man. Miss his smile. I miss his, you know, our talks, you know, we had. Did you have the talk that black fathers have with their sons? I did have that talk with Trayvon. Even though we're trustworthy of, of people, people may not be trustworthy of you. Um, people judge, like to prejudge you just because of the way you walk, the way you talk, the way you act. The night of February 26, 2012, Trayvon was in Sanford where his dad was visiting his fiance. Trayvon donned a hoodie and briefly left to buy snacks. On the way back, George Zimmerman, a self-appointed neighborhood watchman, confronted the teen. And in a struggle, Trayvon Martin was shot and killed. Had he lived, the kid from Miami Gardens today would be a grown man. Do you find yourself imagining what Trayvon Martin at 27 would be? Who would he be? I think uh, he was very interested in the aviation field. I would think that he probably would be an aviation mechanic. Instead, Trayvon Martin became a symbol of how young black men are racially profiled, poignantly captured in a team photo taken at the time by the Miami Heat. And when his killer was acquitted 17 months later, Martin became seen as a martyr who spawned the birth of the Black Lives Matter movement. But you no doubt have heard um, people say, well, all lives matter. And that's true. That's true, all lives matter, but all lives don't go through what we go through. We have to worry about if our kids go into the store and is it, are they going to come home safe. Not too many communities have to worry about that. So, yeah, all lives do matter, but there's a difference in the value on my life and the value on other ethnicity groups' lives. Tracy Martin now champions the cause of social justice and believes his son's death was not in vain. I know that in his death that we got a conviction in the George Floyd case. I know that in his death, we got a conviction in the Ahmaud Arbery case. Even though we didn't get justice in our case, that other people are getting justice in their case behind Trayvon's name. While gratifying, that progress still does not mask Martin's personal grief. He still talks to his son in graveside visits. Have you forgiven George Zimmerman? Definitely not. If, if forgiveness is the key to, is the key to healing, I, I just, I think I'll always be broken. I don't think I can forgive the individual that, that caused so much damage to my life. We're not talking about just a kid being lost. We're talking about lineage. You're talking about, you know, possible grandkids. Tracy Martin forges ahead today with a mixture of memories and purpose. His son, he believes, was taken for a higher calling and became a vehicle to bring all Americans together. You might as well say it's 51 stars on that flag because every time you look at that American flag, now you're forced to look at Trayvon Martin. So this one says you are. This one is, you are Trayvon, yeah, you are Trayvon Martin. I am Trayvon Martin, you are Trayvon Martin. Which means? It's mean that, you know, no matter what your background is, you know, whether you're black or white, I'm Trayvon Martin, you are Trayvon Martin. And Tracy Martin hopes that sense of unity leads to greater healing for this nation. Elliot? And Jim, what else did Tracy Martin have to say about the issue of racial profiling? Well, he says it's still a big issue for young black men and women. And I thought it interesting that he also pointed out that he felt profiled as a black father. In fact, he were kind of perspective during the Zimmerman trial saying that if he, Tracy, had been more active in Trayvon's life, that maybe Trayvon would still be alive when in fact he says he was very involved in his son's life. That's right. All right, Jim, thank you very much. You got it.